Praise the Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah. What another beautiful and awesome day today to always be in the presence of the Lord. Another day right now to give him all the thanks right now, to give him all the praise right now, and to give him all the glory. We serve an awesome God. We serve a mighty God. We serve a powerful God. We serve an amazing God. We serve a God who is the same today, yesterday, and forever. More God. Glory, hallelujah. We serve a God who still sits on the throne. And he still performs miracles and wonders each and every day in the mighty name of Jesus. He is still in the healing business. He is still in the blessing business. God is good all the time and all the time God is good. Hallelujah. And he is so worthy. He is so worthy to be praised. Every day is a day to enter to his courts with thanksgiving and praise. Not because you want something. Not because you're in need of anything. But you are entering into his courts with thanksgiving and praise because you love him. You trust him. He's your rock. He's your refuge. He's your healer. He's your provider. He is your everything. Despite what you are going through right now today. And a lot of us right now today, we're going through something right now. Deeper than what any man or woman can think of. But we still continue to thank him. We still continue to praise him. We still continue to chase after Jesus on heart. That's what it means by entering into his courts with infinite praise. All the worry that you're going through, going through right now, you can just let it roll, roll down your shoulder right now. All the stress that you're going through right now, let it roll down your shoulder right now. The pain, let it roll. The suffering, let it roll. And let the worship just come out of your spirit right now. Let the praise this come out of your spirit right now. Let the glory of God this come out of your spirit right now. See, praise is an everyday thing. It's not an on and off switch thing. It's not a seasonal thing. It is an everyday thing. Because we have somebody who is too faithful to fail us, that he'll never leave us, nor forsake us. And if you have not allowed Jesus into your heart today, into your home today, we're in your prayer closet right now today. And if you don't have a personal relationship with Jesus, I encourage you right now today, please do so. Amen. Because he is good. He is mighty. He is powerful. He is awesome. And he is amazing. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Heavenly Father God, we just come before you right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Give me all thanks. Give me all praise. Give me all glory. We thank you, Father God, for who you are, what you've done, and what you're about to do right now. We thank you, Father God, how you move in mountains on our behalf right now today. We thank you, Father God, for your grace and your mercy right now. We thank you, Father God, for who you are, what you've done, and what you're about to do right now. We thank you, Father God, how you moving and you guiding and you directing how you ordering our steps right now today, Father God. Oh, Heavenly Father God, we thank you right now today, Father God, because we know that you're in control and you're in charge of the situation that we are going through, what we are facing right now today, Father God. Oh, Father God, we just give you thanks right now today, Father God. Father God, we thank you for this word that we're about to receive. We thank you, Father God, for this powerful message today. They're going to keep us full today, keep us satisfied today. And there's no place, there's no place that we'd rather be at right now today, Jesus. But right here in your house, right here in your sanctuary, Father God, just thanking you and praising you and glorifying and magnifying and shouting at your holy name because you are so worthy to be. Praise. We thank you, Father God, for everything that you've done and everything that you're doing. We thank you, Father God, how things are starting to add up right now. We thank you, Father God, because we know that you are working behind the scene right now today, Jesus. Even though we don't see things happen, but Father God, we know that you are working, God. God, we know that you are never too busy for us, Father God. Father God, we know that we can talk to you and count on you and depend on you and rely on you by every and anything right now today, Jesus. Allow your presence to move to this place. Allow your love to move to this place. Allow your angels to join us in praise and worship right now today, Father God, in your place, Father God. Oh, Father God, let your words go out and shall never turn back forward. Let your will be done today, Jesus. Glory be to God. Father God, I believe and I declare the decree right now today, Father God, that someone's going to be healed today, someone's going to be delivered today, someone's going to give their life over to you right now today, Father God. Oh, Father God, I just thank you right now. 
I magnify your name right now. Oh, thank you, Jesus. You always come first place in our life right now to be Jesus. Oh, Father God, this is your house. The house that you built on solid ground. The house that you built on solid foundation. The house that cannot be moved, shaken, or bothered. Oh, Father God, we thank you right now today as we exalt your holy name in your place right now today. Heavenly Father God, Abba Father, you are welcome right now. You are invited right now today to enter to your home right now. Right here in your sanctuary right now. Right here on your YouTube channel. Right here on your platform. Right here in my brother's homes right now in my brother's life. Right here in my sister's homes right now in my sister's life. Father God, I ask you right now today, Father God, to fill us up more of the Holy Spirit right now today, Father God. Because we want more of you and less of ourselves, Father God. I'm asking you, Father God, to touch us right now. I'm asking you, Father God, to move through us right now. I'm asking you, Father God, to lift us up right now. Heavenly Father God, I'm asking you right now today for you to do a new thing to us right now, Father God. Oh, Father God, you're so awesome. You're so mighty, Father God. We thank you, Jesus. Holy Spirit, you're welcome right now. You're invited right now today to enter to the house of the Lord right now. Right here in this sanctuary right now. Right here on this YouTube channel right now. Right here on this platform right now. Right here in my sister's homes and my sister's life. Right here in my brother's homes and my brother's life. Holy Spirit, I'm asking you to intercede and intervene. Holy Spirit, I'm asking you to comfort us right now. I'm asking you right now today, Holy Spirit, to quiet our thoughts, quiet our mind right now so we hear your soft, still voice right now. Holy Spirit, I'm asking you to move through this place right now. Move to my brother's homes and life. Move to my sister's homes and life right now. Holy Spirit, I'm asking you to speak, reveal whatever it is that we need to see. Reveal whatever it is that we need to hear from you right now today, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus. Heavenly Father God, please forgive us for our sins. Known and unknown right now. Wash us through your blood right now. Clean us up as white as snow right now today, Father God. Oh, Father God, I want to say thank you right now today for forgiving us for our sins. Thank you, Father God, for not remembering our sins anymore. Thank you, Father God, for the clean slate. Thank you, Father God, for the opportunity. Thank you, Father God, for coming through. Thank you, Father God, for understanding, Father God. Heavenly Father God, we're here today to let you know that we're available for praise, worship, and glorify your holy mighty name. Father God, words cannot explain how half I am to be right here with my brothers and sisters as one body in Christ, Father God. Heavenly Father God, before I get started, there's something that's always in my mind about you, Jesus. There's something that stays in my spirit about you, Jesus. There's something that stays on the fruit of my tongue and the fruit of my lips about you, Jesus. And I just got to tell you how I really felt about you, Jesus. I just can't thank you enough, 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 Jesus. I just can't thank you enough. That's why I praise you the way I do because I can't thank you enough. That's why I glorify you the way I do because I can't thank you enough. That's why I magnify and I shout out your holy name the way I do, Jesus, because I can't thank you enough. That's why I praise you the way I do. That's why I want more and I want more of you, Jesus, because I can't thank you enough. That's why I'm in love with you the way I am, Jesus, because I can't thank you enough. I just 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 can't thank you enough. Glory, hallelujah. I just can't thank you enough, Jesus. And if you're ready for God's word, let the church say amen. But let Jesus know right now from the bottom of your heart that you can't thank him, that you can't thank him enough. Too many people always want the reward, always want the benefits on what God can give you. But one thing I know for sure, one thing I know for a fact, nobody want to put in the work Everybody wants something out of nothing. Everybody want to be on top, but don't want to crawl when they're on the bottom. Everybody want to be on top, but don't know how to make sacrifices to get to the top. Everybody want to live this extravagant life, but don't want to go through the pain and the suffering that what you got to go through to get where you want to be at. Some people want to spread along because they know that you're up next. Some people know that you're going to be the next one that's going to succeed in your family. And the reason why they're tagging along and hanging along with you 
because they want they want something that's about to happen for you and to you. But that one time they put in the work, that one time they put in the effort to get what God is about to, oh, help me with this thing, Jesus, what Jesus is about to take you to. He's about to take you somewhere. He's about to elevate you. And where he's about to take you to and where he's about to elevate you to, everybody is not welcome to come. There's going to be a lot of pissed off people. I'm going to go ahead and tell you right now today, my sisters. I'm going to go ahead and tell you right now today, my brothers. But you might always let them get mad. Go too many people want the benefits but don't want to work for them. How can you get mad at this man and this woman for what God has blessed them with when you didn't put it in work yourself? The word of God tells us in the book of Deuteronomy that he gave every last one of his children the ability to make something happen. Did you make anything happen today? Oh, I forgot you did. What you made happen today was as soon as you woke up and picked your phone up and you scrolled to Facebook, you scrolled to Instagram, you scroll to TikTok. That's the only thing that you made happen. And you expect that Jesus is going to bless you because you scrolled through Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. But you didn't put that, you didn't put no effort into the gift that he gave you. You put no effort into the gift that he gave you. You didn't put no blood, sweat, and tears into the gift and the talent that he gave you. You are too busy trying to leech on somebody else. Gold and dreams and ambitions. You know exactly who you are. So how the world do you expect to receive the benefits if you didn't put in the work? See this right here, everybody ain't willing to do. That's why only 98% of people in the world would not be successful because they don't want to put in the work. They want the reward, they want the benefits, but they want to put in the work. They don't go hand in hand. They don't mix or match. It's like oil and vinegar. They are never going to work, my brother and sister. It is what it is. How you expect Jesus to take you somewhere when you not when you don't want to put in the work, when you don't want to put in the effort? It don't work like that. It will never work like that. It will never come to pass that way. You got to do something in order for God to take you to where he want to take you to. What are you willing to do right now today? What are you willing to do right now? Are you willing to do and make a sacrifice right now today? Are you willing to put in the work and the dedication to do what you got to do today? You can't worry about what somebody else is doing and what somebody else got. Because God gave every last one of his children a, a, different, a different ability to do something, a different test, to do something in a different skill. Whatever it is that he gave you as a gift, you probably use that gift because the word of God says, what did he say? He will make room for it. He didn't say that you got to go to school for it, get a degree for it. He said he will make room for it. But you got to be willing to do something. And what God is, what God is expecting you to do right now today, 98% of the people ain't going to do this right here. But you want the benefits. 98% of the people will not do this right here, but you want to be warm. So really, at the end of the day, you really don't want it. You just want to leech or something, and you just want God just to give it to you. He's not going to give it to you like that. He's not going to hand it to you like that, because it's never going to work like that, my brother and sister. You're going to have to show and prove this what you really want. It's called hard work. It's called dedication. I'm going to tell you what you're going to have to do. Are you willing to do this? Because everybody ain't willing to do it because it's not easy. Because if it was easy, everybody would do it. Everybody would do it. He set it up just to see who really wants. He set it up just to see who really wants abundant life more than enough. The word of God tells us in the book of John 15 that you can ask anything in his name that he will give it to you. How you expect God to give you something when you're not doing what you're supposed to to receive it? How you expect God to actually open up some doors when you're not able and you don't want to do what you're supposed to do to get it or receive it? Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. Let's get into this word. Can you please turn your Bible to Matthew 19? And we're going to read verse 29. That's Matthew chapter 19. And we're going to read verse 29. And if you have your Bibles open, let the church say amen. Amen. Glory be to God. 
and everyone who has left houses, or brothers or sisters, or father or mothers, or children, or fields, for my sake will receive a hundred times as much as they will inherit eternal life. But many who are first will be last. And many who are last will be first. I'm going to go back. The word of God says, we'll receive a hundred times as much. The only way that you're going to receive the hundred times as much, you got to put in the work. You got to be dedicated. You got to be committed. Everybody ain't willing to drop everything to follow Jesus. Are you willing right now today, my sisters? Are you willing right now today, my brothers, to drop everything and look back and say, you know what? God is way, is way more important than my mother, my father, my brothers, my sisters, my family, my job, my house, my children. Are you willing to drop everything right now today to follow Jesus? Are you willing? I know some of y'all might not like that, but it is what it is. I'm just going on with the word of saying. Too many of y'all right now today, you want the benefits and you want the reward, but you're not willing to drop anything. You're not willing to give up something to go get it. Are you willing to give up something right now today, my sisters? Are you willing to give up something right now today, my brothers, to receive what God has in store for you? Are you willing to give it up right now? That's why I say, if it was easy, everybody would do it. But this ain't easy right here to walk away, to drop everything down. Because at the end of the day, nobody should come before Jesus. It's the point I'm making. Jesus should always be number one in your life. Is Jesus number one in your life, my sisters? Is Jesus number one in your life, my brothers? Everybody can. Everybody gonna say, "Oh yeah, he number one." If he number one, nobody else come before Jesus. Are you willing to drop everything down right now? Are you willing to walk away where you at right now today? Say, Jesus, I'm gonna follow you. I'm gonna leave my mom behind. I'm gonna leave my father behind. I'm gonna leave my brother and sister behind. I'm gonna leave my kid behind. I'm gonna follow you, Jesus. I'm gonna do your will, Jesus. Even though I might not understand it, Jesus, I want to do your will. How many right now today want to do the will of God? Be honest with yourself. Because you already know. It was something I had to do. Twelve years ago. I dropped everything down. Left mother, father, brother, sister, kids, jobs, everything. To follow Jesus. Didn't know what he wanted me to do. The only thing I wanted to do was his will. Was it hard? Yes, it was hard. Was it difficult? Yes, it was. But as you continue to walk with Jesus and follow with Jesus, he made it smoother for me just to focus on him, focus on his words, and focus on his promises. So I'm asking you right now today, do you really want to do Jesus' will? Are you willing to give everything up just to follow him? Is Jesus really number one in your life. That's something you need to think about. That's something that you need to be honest with too. And if you know that you, say, Jesus, I'm ready to do your will. I'm ready to drop everything down right now to follow you, Jesus. And I believe and I declare right now today somebody out there in the world is ready to do Jesus' will. Somebody right now today is ready and willing to give everything up to follow him. Amen to you, my sister. Amen to you today, my brother. And if you'd like what you heard right now, and this word is for you, go and hit Jesus' like button. Hit the subscribe button to as well. Can you please pray with me? Lord Jesus, I ask of you to come into our life to guide us, direct us, use us. I believe right now today in the mighty name of Jesus. I was praying this simple little prayer that God is already working everything God in my life right now today. And if you ever want to get in contact with me, leave me a comment. My YouTube channel is Mildred.LT. Always keep Jesus first place. Always seek Him. Always honor Him. Always keep your eyes focused on Jesus. 
because he is the author and the perfecter of your faith. Continue to trust him even though you don't see things happening. Continue to hold on to his unchangeable hands and please do not let it go. Continue to pick up your crosses, follow Jesus. Choose faith over fear. Always continue to pray for your fellow brothers and sisters. And it doesn't matter if you've ever seen their face. It doesn't matter if you know their name. Continue to pray for them. I'm always going to continue to keep on in prayer, my brothers and sisters. The only thing that I ask y'all guys to do for me is continue to keep me in prayer and keep me lifted up to you. I'm serving me to say that too. I love y'all. Stay blessed. In Jesus' name we pray. Glory, hallelujah. Amen.